What's up everybody, Major Retired Richard Ojeda here, and you are watching Ojeda Live. Countdown achieved. It's time for Ojeda Live. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Ojeda Live. We got Maureen on here first, followed by Shelly Gabish with her Blue Waves. We got uh, Ainsley Mather from Dallas, Texas. We got Kenneth Pauley on here from Virginia. Pamela Kelly is on here. How you doing, Pamela? Welcome to the show. We got uh, Kyle and Carla Smith with us today. We got Monica Sue Phillips from Kentucky. Etta Russell is with us. We got Donna Markham, as always. We got Aurora Torado from Orlando, Florida. We got Doug Green on here. Welcome to the show, Doug. We got Frank Solarzano from San Diego. What's up, Frank? We got Chris Novak on here from Bolero, Ohio. We got Lori Decker on here. Welcome to the show, Lori. We got Jennifer Peck from Southern California. We got Glenna Marley on here. Welcome to the show, Glenna Marley. Patricia Sooms is with us. My paratrooper brother Larry Blatt from Long Island is with us. We got Alton Gillespie from Paradise, Texas. Uh, we have Suzanne Russo on here from Melbourne, Florida. Uh, Dennis Petro, welcome to the show, Dennis, from Florida. Richard Metz is with us from Parkersburg, West Virginia. Marjorie Aldrich is with us from North Carolina. We have Kathy Young. We have Flavio Romero, Jr., and we have Marjorie Aldrich. So everybody, make sure that you're hitting those, those thumbs up, hitting them hearts. And at the end of this, make sure that you share this vehicle. We're about 110 people away from the 122,500. So let's get there, folks. The more people that we get to follow this page, the more opportunities we have to wake people up. The more opportunities we have to give people something that they can share with others that may convince them to basically cut ties with Donald Trump. And every day, that's what we have to do. And I believe that Donald Trump is going to continue falling from grace. I think that Donald Trump is absolutely in the biggest world of hurt ever. And hopefully when all this is said and done, we'll be done with him for good. So, so Trump said not too long ago that he would not be getting the RNC to pay his legal debts. And then his daughter-in-law took over the RNC, where now they have a new agreement. And we spoke a little bit about this yesterday. But, but... Pretty, pretty sad. Donald Trump's new joint fundraising agreement with the Republican National Committee directs all donations to his campaign and a PAC that pays Trump's legal bills. And then this is the kicker, before the RNC gets their cut. So basically, all the money that's going into the RNC, they're going to take all of that and use that towards Donald Trump's legal fees. Donald Trump's not just facing one situation. He's facing four criminal trials, and there's another slew of other uh, civil trials that are going to come. Uh, I'm telling you right now, you're going to have a class action lawsuit with every single Capitol uh, police officer, and uh, you know every single one of them deserves a minimum of $2.5 million each. Uh, I would like them to have more. But, you know, Donald Trump's going to be running out of money. Uh, we hear about the $3 billion, but once again, he don't get to touch that until it's almost election time. And by that time, he may be not even on the ballot because he's been prosecuted. So uh, there is the hush money case. And that is going to happen before the November election. So we're going to find out if he's guilty or not. Donald Trump is going to be found guilty. And uh, he's going to lose a lot of support. And they're going to destroy the Republican National Committee on the way out. And they're going to destroy a lot of the Republican Party. And it's happening right now. You've got people that are resigning because they just don't want to be there anymore. Because being a Republican today is literally you're standing with people like Marsha Trainwreck Green that do nothing but sit and spew garbage and do nothing. You know, you're a Republican today. All you're doing is trying to make excuses for Donald Trump and anything else as to why you can't get shit done, why you can't pass any damn bills. And the reason for that is 
Nobody's pushing any legislation that means anything. Nobody's trying to, to do things. The Republicans are not out there trying to, to, to fix things. They voted against the infrastructure. They voted against allowing uh, Medicare to, to, to basically work on uh, uh, lowering the costs for people. They vote against all that stuff, you know, and that's who they are. And a lot of them now are basically being called out for the embarrassment that's happening right now on the, on the House floor. It's an embarrassment. I mean, the Republicans have been in power now. And they can't do anything. They're incompetent. You know, you got uh, you got James Comer and Jim Jordan and them that are just running these committees. But once again, nobody has produced any proof that Joe Biden has broken the law. You got that one Jackaloon Bublinski, and the truth is, he doesn't know what the hell he what the hell he's doing. I mean, he's sitting there trying to argue. You can tell he's a Trump balloon, which is fine. But once again, he's spewing all kinds of shit, but none of it's sticking. It's not, there's, there's no evidence that they have that basically uh, Joe Biden, not Joe Biden, I'm sorry, uh, no, Joe Biden and Hunter Biden, uh, it's getting clearer and clearer that they don't have the ability. If they had the ability right now to impeach Joe Biden and make it stick, they would go to the floor ASAP. But they don't got nothing. And they can scream and talk about all the corruption they want. But if all you can do is blame Joe Biden, but you have no facts, you have no proof to back it up, you can sit there and say, oh, we've got the proof. Where's it at? Because that's what's happened. you got Comer and them that have no problem arguing with the Democrats on the House floor saying that they've got all this information, but they don't have any of it. Because if they did, we would have seen it by now. They know they don't have anything. And they know that their time is running out. Ladies and gentlemen, we may literally watch Hakeem Jeffrey, Hakeem Jeffries taking over the friggin' taking the devil and becoming the next Speaker of the House before the Democrats win back the House. I mean, literally, you've got Republicans that are almost at the point where they're willing to say, we're going to support the Democrats and get Hakeem Jeffries in there because at least we can finish up the rest of this without being an absolute embarrassment. And then again, too, you know, they'll try to blame anything that they do in terms of obstruction against Hakeem Jeffries. But make no mistake about it. You can throw stones at Hakeem Jeffries, but you better come correct because make no mistake about it, that guy right there, that guy is what I consider to be scary smart, which means that they absolutely just know what the hell they're doing. And he absolutely does. Him, Jamie Raskin, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. You look at the Democrats. If we look at the Republicans, you look at James Comer, whose now nickname is, is Comer Pyle, uh, Jim Jordan, who is an embarrassment. Look at the Republicans, Matt Gates, embarrassment, Bobert and Bear, all of them are embarrassments. But look at the Democrats. Look at what we got. Now, you can throw stones at Ilhan Omar all you want, but look at her legislation. Look at her legislation. Ilhan Omar is the lead sponsor that Dagon required our government to continue taking care of the people who cleaned up after 9-11. And, and let that sink in. Before you throw stones at her, she's the main reason why those people are still getting the care that they deserve today. That's a fact. So you go ahead and you look at their legislation. Look at, look at AOC. Let me tell you, she is highly intelligent. Highly intelligent. And then we got on the other side, your Lauren Boberts and your Marge the Train Wreck Grants. Marge the Train Wreck Grant can claim education all she wants. But every time she opens her mouth, she absolutely shits the bed. And whatever college that she graduated from, what they should do is they should try to get her to keep her mouth shut about where she went to school. Because I will tell you right now, if I found out tomorrow that Marge and Trainwreck Green went to this particular school and I found out that my, one of my kids was going there, I would absolutely have them change colleges. Because obviously the college that gave her a degree 
are more than willing to basically pass them out to people that can barely even read, which is Marsha Trainwreck Green. So yesterday, Russia lost another 1,050 troops. So another 19 armored personnel carriers, 57 wheeled vehicles, 12 more tanks, 35 artillery systems, 75 UAVs, and more. 57 pieces of specialized equipment. That could be maintenance equipment. That can be equipment that, that, that fixes bridges. It could be uh, a bridge launching uh, type capabilities, things like that. But once again, it was just literally a few weeks ago. And everybody remembers it when we hit the 400,000 mark. Folks, they're closing in on 440,000. It's going to happen within the next two days. 440,000. They are losing on average. Now, today wasn't so bad. Today was like 640. That's the lowest it's been in a long time. But once again, 640 today, 1,200 tomorrow, because that seems the way it's going. It all averages out to where Russia is on average losing uh, about uh, roughly losing about, you know, uh, they're losing a good 900 on average a day. Let that sink in. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. We've not seen loss like this since World War II. We have not seen loss like this since World War II and Russia. And once again, folks, remember, when you hear people start talking, I saw a video where people at Trump rallies were talking about Vladimir Putin's with us. You fucking morons. Vladimir Putin wants Donald Trump because Vladimir Putin knows that he can get Donald Trump to basically shut down the Ukraine, shut down anything going to Ukraine, and then he will go in, and they will end up winning, and they will end up taking Ukraine. And then when they go into Moldova, what are we going to do? Because make no mistake about it, Donald Trump will sit there and go, it ain't our fight. Folks, let me tell you something. NATO has a standing order, and that is you mess with one, you mess with all. And that means everybody, Lottie Dottie's got to get involved. And Donald Trump will literally take us to the friggin' World War III because he's too busy trying to do everything he can to make Vladimir Putin happy. What a orange bootlicker. Donald Trump is a bootlicker. Donald Trump licks Vladimir Putin's boots, and Vladimir Putin knows it. Knows it. That's a fact. The one great thing about Truth Social going public that will literally net Donald Trump around $3 billion. Folks, that's, that's going to happen. That's going to happen. But this now means that he's got cash that can now be gone after. So once again, every Capitol Police, office, police officer should get a taste of that because they're going to have class action lawsuits. And once again, they're all going to win a significant amount of money. We're going to have to turn around. Bill Simpson. Anybody wants to call me right now. We're going to have to literally rehire every single position that we have at the Capitol with, with Capitol Police, because the truth is, is they're all going to end up winning a few million dollars each. And I doubt very seriously that they're going to go back to work after that. So, yeah. Trump will have the money to post bonds, but because you're not going to win any of those cases. Folks, let me tell you something. The uh, $91 million bond that he got for E. Jean Carroll, first and foremost, understand that what's he appealing? What is he appealing? Donald Trump was found guilty of sexual assault. The judge actually said that he was guilty of rape, but he chose to use the wording sexual assault. So let that sink in. The judge is the one that said rape. So let that sink in. So basically, uh, Donald Trump is 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 going to lose that, and he, that that bond is already in place. He's already secured that. So what's going to happen is is he's not going to win the appeal because he's guilty. He's blatantly guilty. What's he going to say? I didn't defame her? Well, we've got him on camera saying she's a liar. I don't know who she is. She's making this shit up. That's called defaming somebody. So he's going to lose that. The best part about that is, is that that means he ought, or she, Eugene Carroll, will automatically get her money. See, this bothers me because I won $400,000 from the dickhead who tried to murder me. 
And the sad part about it was, was that I won $400,000. And what should have happened is his friggin' family should have been made to put up a friggin' $400,000 bond so I would be able to get something in the event that, you know, uh, and I ended up winning the case, but I never got nothing because friggin' he ain't going to pay me no money. And the family took everything out of his name the day after he attacked me. So it's just bullshit, you know, pure bullshit. But that's okay because he's burning in hell right now. That's a fact. You know, he he was Narcaned like eight times in his last year. And then finally, he 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 took a little too much. So good riddance, piss on him. But back to Trump. He will just lose the three billion. Means that those suing Donald Trump will get paid. So that's the one good thing about this. So even, you know, the $170 million bond, uh, they're going to snatch that. And then they're going to go after his his properties. That's what's going to happen. So uh, on another note, they say Trump won't be able to use this money for Truth Social for six months. And what that means is he's not going to get his hands on any of that money until September time frame. So if he has to come up with any other types of bonds, don't know what he's going to do because he can't get that money until September. And the best part about it is, is by then, he may already be convicted. And then it's just about, okay, we got that $3 billion now. Now let's go ahead and pay everybody what they deserve. That's what needs to happen. So around 60 people were killed and more than 145 were wounded when five armed gunmen dressed in camouflage opened fire with automatic weapons at a concert near Moscow. Now we know that they were four men from Tajikistan. They belonged to ISIS, and that's what they did. To be honest with you, I thought that that would probably end up being some Ukrainians or some some uh, Russians that uh, you know are are taking a stand against Vladimir Putin. Uh, in the beginning, that's what I thought it could be, uh, but it turned out to be ISIS. So, uh, I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, if ISIS is targeting Russia, Ukraine is now starting to venture out and, and starting to touch Russia on Russian soil. Uh, it's getting really, really bad for Vladimir Putin. That's just a fact. One of the deadliest attacks on Russian soil has just took place. And once again, is it tied to Ukraine? Well, it's not. The Islamic State has claimed responsibility. American intelligence even warned Russia of the potential attack. Because once again, when you're talking about attacks from ISIS and things like that, even though Russia is our number one adversary, we would still warn them about a terrorist attack coming from something like ISIS. Because the truth is, is everybody's against friggin' ISIS. So yeah, let that sink in. So, uh, all right, yeah. Russia has not announced who they think the gunmen were representing. They have now, ISIS. If it has anything to do with Ukraine, then it's ununderstandable going to Russia. I wrote this yesterday. Going to give Russia a dose of their own medicine. Except the fact that attacking innocent civilians is unacceptable. We know Russia uses these tactics, but in the end, the rules of war from the Geneva Convention still apply. Mm -hmm. And once again, when this is over with, I, I will tell you that there's going to be a lot of war crimes that are going to come out. Uh, when you empty your prisons full of rapists and murderers and you tell them that they're willing to pick up a weapon and fight for you, they get to go free. Uh, we already know that in the beginning, when they first invaded Ukraine, they were raping women and children, uh, committing atrocities. And make no mistake about it, that stuff's going to come back. It's going to come back. Even if Vladimir Putin is drugged through the streets, the general officers of the, of the uh, Russian military are going to find themselves standing in front of probably the Hague uh, and having to answer for uh, the stuff that's been going on, for the atrocities, the mass graves, the mass murders where they lined people up and shot them. You've got a government that had no problem taking out open uh, 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 squares, hospitals, schools, apartment complexes, 
Those are war crimes. When you personally attack the people and not the military, it's a war crime. That's how it works. So, yeah, it's coming. Uh, yeah, once again, Geneva Convention, the rules apply, and that's for everybody, period. Beware of any Christian movement that demands the government be an instrument of God's wrath but never a source of God's mer mercy, generosity, and compassion. Yeah, you know what? I, I tell you, it really bothers me that we see all of these people out, out here, uh, and, and a lot of them are actually, they struggle. They struggle with money. You know, people struggle with money in these poor Republican states. Understand that the majority of people in Louisiana, and Alabama, and Mississippi, and Tennessee, and Kentucky, and West Virginia, and South Carolina, you know, these are places where, uh, I mean, people are just, they're not that damn smart. They're easily duped. Poorly educated people are easily duped. If you are still spewing uh, Trump balloon shit and supporting Fox News, you're actually a, a moron. I mean, here's the thing. If you know that the Fox News channel just lost $787 million from Dominion and they're getting ready to lose another $787 at a minimum to Smartmatic because they lied and it's been proven that they lied, which is why they had to pay the $787 million in the first place, then you've got to be a special kind of stupid yourself. If you are still following Fox News, if you're still spewing Fox News, then you're just not a smart person. The truth is, is that we should immediately take it off the air. And that's what should happen. Because they were found to have been lying to their people, they should be removed from the air. We should not allow an entity, especially an entity that claims to be basically presenting the news and facts when they do nothing but spew lies they should absolutely be held accountable for that. And look, you can hold NBC's ass responsible too. For them to hire Rona McDaniel, fuck you, in NBC. I mean, you're going to sit here and you're going to hire this lying friggin' witch who's now telling us that the only reason why she was the way she was was because when you're basically the chair of the Republican Party, you've got to act a certain way, which means you're not a leader. Because if you was a leader, you would lead. You wouldn't have to let anybody tell you how you have to act. And that's a fact. And she's absolute pure garbage. But once again, demands the government be an instrument of God's wrath, but never a source of God's mercy, generosity. You know, it seems like all we keep seeing, especially when it comes to Republican legislation, what are they trying now? What are they going to? Oh, they're going to go after Medicare. OK, what else are they doing? They're going to go after Social Security. They're going to raise the age of, of retirement to 70, even though African-American men have a life expectancy of 69 and African-American women live to 70. What they're saying is they want people of color to work until you friggin die and reap none of the benefits because of it, because that's where we're at. And then you're going to sit here and you're going to push bills that are basically killing free lunch programs. I mean, how friggin' horrible can you be? Understand, anybody out there that's ever been a teacher, ever been a school service personnel, you know and you see poor children daily. And you know if it wasn't for free lunches at those schools, those poor children would never get to eat. And I can remember when I was a kid, when we had to always show up with like, you had to you had to give like a dime and a nickel for your milk and stuff like that. And the truth is, is that there were kids that went without. There were kids that didn't get, that didn't get their milk, you know? And, and you don't really pay much attention to it when you're kids. But make no mistake about it, those kids remember. Those kids remember watching other kids get things that they don't get. And it's absolute cruel to me to, to require children to go to a school and spend a good solid eight hours there, but yet you're not going to feed them. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. And that's a fact. All right, folks, let's check out what kind of memes of the day that John's got for us.
Hunter's Laptop! Hunter's Laptop! The legal system has never in history given anyone more, ben or more benefit of the doubt to the guys who's been found liable for rape, fraud, staged a failed coup, and tried to murder his own vice president. Look, folks, I'm telling you right now, nobody on the face of the earth has been able to get away with the shit that this guy gets away with. And they are still blatantly basically giving him a double standard than anybody else. There are people, remember, guys, we had a kid, a kid, 20-year-old kid, basically, and, and he was wrong. He shared classified documents on the gaming system, like bragging with his with these buddies. That kid just got 16 years in prison for that. And look, I'm not going to defend that kid. The kid did wrong, and he's going to pay for it. There was another woman who was found with a one page, and I believe she got five years. You have another guy who got caught. He was paid $42,000 from a Chinese agent, and make no mistake about it, he's going to get about 35 years. But yet this son of a bitch here who stole classified documents, we know he stole classified documents, they were transported all the way down to Mar-a-Lago illegally because they didn't go down the way they were supposed to go because classified documents have a certain way that they can be transported. And that's a fact. Any other way is illegal, okay? But once again, we've got this freaking guy that has done more damage and, and literally, potentially could literally be found guilty of selling classified documents. I mean, they're literally saying that Jack Smith is literally weighing on whether or not he's going to bring that charge next. So once again, nobody, nobody's ever been given a damn pass. This guy right here, they reduced the bond. You know what? He owes the state of New York $565 million. And they gave him a freaking pass. They shouldn't have gave him a pass. Nobody else gets a pass. This is a double standard that we're seeing, and everybody should be pissed off about this because he should not get a free ride. This motherfucker right here is trying to destroy our democracy, and we're walking on fucking eggshells around this fat piece of shit. Let that sink in. He wants to destroy this country. He wants to create a dictatorship where he rules and he reigns supreme. He's on camera sitting there telling people, the freaking, well, when, when Kim Jong-un speaks to his people, they all stand up. I want him to stand up for me too. That right there is all you need to know. He's the one that was saying that he wanted a military parade, just like the ones that they have in North Korea and China and Russia, because he's a dictator wannabe. And it's a shame that this motherfucker still gets a pass. I want him to go to prison. I want him to be held accountable for his crimes. This man has done horrible damage to our democracy. He has made us look like a bunch of fucking morons on the freaking global stage. And he is the dumbest motherfucker to ever occupy the chair. He is morbidly stupid. It, it's, it, you, the level of, of, of stupidity with this man is through the friggin' roof. Through the roof. This guy absolutely deserves every shitty thing that he gets. If he fucking dies penniless in freaking jail, that's exactly where he deserves to be. Fact. All right, let's do one more. Don't even suggest arming teachers. Some of y'all don't even trust us to select library books. That's a fact, folks. Let me tell you, I, that pisses me off. West Virginia doing the same shit. You know, let me tell you something. A teacher has a tough enough job in places like West Virginia. The last thing that they need is to be basically put in charge of defending the friggin' school with guns. You know, uh, just absolutely the wrong thing to do. You know, it is very, very hard to be a teacher, especially today. And the last thing that they need is to get additional duties stuck on top of all the other shit that they already have to do. It's, it's absolutely amazing that we go down the path that we go down sometimes. Sad. All right, folks, that's been our 30 minutes. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Make sure each and every one of y'all find me somebody to follow Ojeda Live. Guys, look, every day we're going to do these lives. And every day the focus is on trying to speak and put truth to power. Every day I want to try to educate people in the hopes that they wake up. 
I'm hoping that by the time the general election gets here, everybody's going to be just absolutely sickened with Donald Trump's bullshit. And I believe it's going to happen. I don't think he's got a snowball's chance in hell. Folks, let me tell you something. If he can only get 81% of the votes in Florida and he's the only one on the ballot, let me tell you something. They're scared. They know they got real problems here. They can talk all the shit they want. We know Donald Trump's going to automatically say it was rigged again. And I'm going to tell you what better happen. If he starts screaming it was rigged again and you sons of bitches try to act like you're going to take up arms, I'm going to tell you right now, we need to put our military on the street and we need to smoke you motherfuckers like a cheap cigar. I don't give two shits. If it's up to me, I wouldn't put up with you bullshit. If it was up to me, there would have been a friggin' line on that goddamn concrete in front of our Capitol, and every son of a bitch that took a step over top of it would have got fucking air hold. That's what needed to fucking happen. Piss on these friggin' guys. They want to friggin' screw our democracy, and we ain't gonna let that shit happen. Folks, y'all be good to each other. See y'all tomorrow. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way. Hot! Eyes right!